First thing I've learned as superintendent of JCPS, once you think you've learned it all and you know it all about leadership, you're about to get punched in the mouth. That is JCPS school superintendent Dr. Marty Polio today at the JCPS State of the District Address talking about the rough start to the school year. The district's challenges continue with the potential for state oversight, but Polio used his speech today to push back. Ian Hardwood and photojournalist Jessica Farley heard from the superintendent. Ian, what else did he have to say today? Shay, he committed to the decisions he's made specifically on diversity and equity efforts. Those are meant to bring all students up to the same speed. When it comes to a potential state audit, Polio's confident JCPS would pass the test, but he's worried, however, the test might be rigged. Students who have the least amount of resources in their home need to have the most amount of resources in their school. If they break up JCPS, this will no longer happen. Another state audit of the district is on the horizon in Frankfort. Some Jefferson County lawmakers want to split up JCPS into smaller school systems. It's a road superintendent polio's been down before. Two in 2018, one in 2019, one in 2020. Six audits in seven years. In some, the Kentucky Department of Education weighing in, saying the district was effective. JCPS School Board Chair Corey Scholl echoing polio. They're fine with another audit if it's fair. We are against an audit with a preconceived outcome. We um, are, not, are not in favor of anything that is a political ploy. In front of a crowd of educators and politicians, Polio rallied for equity and praised the district's transition to choice zones. Those let families decide if they want students to attend schools closer to home, but contributed to new routes drivers struggled to complete. We know this. Ten years ago, we had over 950 bus drivers. Right now, we have approximately 550 bus drivers, and we are providing the same services. But Polio has been clear. It's time to face the music on busing students. Hiring in schools across the country is a continuing issue, leading to some difficult decisions. Increase drivers or decrease routes. That's what we can do. While they're working to hire more bus drivers, route cuts to traditional and magnet schools are possible. Polio is proud of the district's move to a reading curriculum standard, which is happening with math too. We trained 4,000 teachers this summer when it came to teaching literacy. Math is next. We already have about half our elementary schools. That's this summer. We'll have to train 6,000 more this summer. He also reiterated support for an optional backpack league program for students. It lasts four weeks in the summer, originally starting as a federal program to help recover pandemic learning losses. Now remember, you can weigh in on how the district's doing at any of their board meetings during public comment. The next one is March 5th at 6 p.m. And one more thing, a special thanks to Ballard High School students for playing the music there at the State of the District. Shay? All right.